Hello, and welcome to lesson three of building your own birdhouse. Today, we are putting it together. Okay, before you get started, make sure you gather your materials and your tools as well. Make sure you're wearing appropriate clothing and you have your safety equipment organized, okay? Uh, hopefully you can choose to do this outside as well, although it doesn't make as big a mess as sanding does, thankfully. So I have pre-drilled the holes for you, so you'll be able to use either a regular screwdriver, okay? Making sure you use a Robertson screw head. This is the square screw head. If you can learn what a Robertson screwdriver is, this is a really great thing to know. Um, it took me quite a few years to, to remember this one. It is the smaller of what I would say is the average as well. Or um, if you have an impact driver, that works great as well. I am gonna use the impact driver because it is much faster than the screwdriver. So if you have this tool, please use it as well. You're going to need a pencil and either a ruler or measuring tape. Now I have some measuring tape here. You can see uh, it just has inches on it. Let's put it the right way. So um, as a carpenter and most carpenters, maybe all, I don't know if it's all, but they use inches for measurement. Um, you're going to need some safety gloves. I still would recommend to use these. Uh, even when I was handling the wood a little bit earlier, I got a little bit of a sliver. So please keep your safety gloves on for this. And you're also going to need a hammer. Okay, the hammer is going to come at the end when we put the nails in for the hinge for the front of the birdhouse. If you don't have a hammer, you could also use a rock or something hard to, to put the nail in. All right, so let's get started. Step one is you're gonna use, um, you're going to take your back piece. So remember the back piece compared to the other pieces is a little bit longer. If we measure this with the measuring tape, we have 12 inches or one foot, where the side pieces and the front pieces is only 10 inches, okay? So this is how we notice the back the back piece it also has two holes near the bottom so possibly this is where the blue tape that I had put on there comes in handy if you chose to take this off and not put it back on that's fine as well okay so just this is your orientation here so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the sides onto the back piece okay so you can or orientate the sides as well by noting the side that has three holes along the back this is going to go in the back whereas and it will also have the two holes in the middle uh, near the bottom okay so we have to make sure the holes are at the bottom the three holes are at the back so I can decide that this is the left side and I'm also going to put the right side on again it's the near image of the left I have two that piece just like that this one has the three holes on this side the two holes are orientated on the bottom so I know that those are gonna be the side pieces okay um couple things right of course this is where you also need your measuring tape so you're gonna measure or you can use your ruler you're gonna measure half an inch from the top here okay so the one represents the inch so we're just going to the halfway point now this is a longer piece as I had mentioned. So our side pieces actually get attached a little bit down from the top. Okay, so measure out the half an inch and that will help you line up the pre-drilled holes with that as well. My last recommendation for attaching the sides is that when you're attaching to the back piece, Okay. You can set up your one side. This would not be the right side, actually. This would be my right side. So you can set that up, and then you can use the other side just to help support this one so it keeps nice and flat. And that will, again, help you line up those holes, and hopefully it goes in fairly effortlessly. Once you get one in the side, it definitely becomes a lot easier. Easier. Okay, so I'm going to put my gloves on. I should have had these on already. That's okay. My screws are in my pocket. I'm going to take my drill. You know what? I think I'm gonna have trouble with the screws and the glove. Let's take those out. All right, and let's put on the side pieces. Our side pieces are on the next piece to put on is the bottom piece 
Now you'll notice that there are four holes in the corner here and the holes are done with a bigger drill bit and this is because these are actually drainage holes, okay? So you don't screw through these holes. These are here, if any water gets into the birdhouse, then it will drain it, all right? So you should see, possibly you still have your stickers on here and that will tell you what is the inside, what is the outside. I remember that I kept my outside the rougher side and I can see that there's two holes in the side here and that's where the back piece is gonna pre-drill to. So you can slide that in. Put the two screws in the back first, and I recommend just propping it up here, putting your two screws in the back. You're gonna put your screws in the side and in the side. All right, easy, here's the next one. Right, so the bottom is on. Um, I guess I could have noted, although it's easy to line up all the holes, which I noted, but it does sit up higher than the two side pieces as well. All right, now we're gonna put on the top brace, which is this small piece. This is two inches wide. Everything is about five and a half, five and a quarter um, this way. Um, I could actually say the length is two inches. This is the width of the wood is five and a half. Any way, all right, you're going to take your top piece and just rest it in place. And this is simply to help us uh, line up our top brace, okay? So we're also gonna use the tape measure here. We're gonna measure, so we want the top brace to be in line with the back piece. So when we look at it this way, it sits back from the front and it's actually going to stick up higher than the sides. So you can see that there. It's going to be half an inch higher than the sides, just like the back is half an inch higher. In the end, the top, um, the roof of the birdhouse is going to sit on those two pieces. We're going to get the space in the side which we want. So we're going to set this on, on, one on just to see how far back to put that. You're going to use your tape measure to measure a half an inch below the top. Okay, you'll see, you'll know that the top is the top because there's some pre-drilled holes in there as well. So you can line it up that way. All right, so two screws go in here. Once you get that all lined up, you can put your two screws in and that will secure your top brace. Awesome. So the top brace is in. Um, you can see it's very tight with that in. It secures in the two side pieces. And then eventually when we put in the front piece, it's gonna sit something like that. Uh, because there's only two screws in this top brace, do make sure that it's vertical. It's not angled in or out. That's gonna change how well the front sits on when we eventually put the front on. Okay, so we're gonna do the top. Uh, we can keep it face up for this. There are six screws going in here. First thing is you wanna line up your back. So with the top piece, you can see all the holes are pre-drilled. So I haven't mentioned this, but um, you'll notice that the hole is pre-drilled and then inside of that, it actually leaves room for the screw head. And this is done with what we call a counter sink. Okay, and I'll just show you on the drill here. So you can see the drill bit is this uh, twisty thing that goes into the wood great description okay and makes the hole and on the top of that we have what is called the counter sink and as we go into the wood it actually um, what am I saying I'm finding wood it uh, creates that groove on the top that you see so now I'm gonna do this so I'm not screwing into the bench but So I've gone in a little bit deep there, okay? And you'll notice with some of your holes, some of them are deeper than the other. I apologize, this is just a lack of not being a professional. But you can see it leaves a bit of room for a screw. And if you're worried about the look of this, we are going to, in the finishing up, we'll talk about how you can seal up those holes. All right, so six screws into the top. Line up 
the back first and you're going to put in, I suggest you put in the middle screw. So this is going to be the middle of the wood which should be about two and three quarters of an inch. And I'll show you that on this tape measure here as well so you can see one inch, two inch, three inches. Two and three quarters is less than three, it's greater than two, it's actually close to the three, it's right in here. So that's my halfway mark. I know my roof is going to line right in the middle so I can line that center hole and that will help me line up the holes below. Put in that screw, put in your other two back ones, put in your three front and you're good to go. Now the top is on. Most of yours will line up pretty close to the end, but it will depend on what the top itself is looking like. Some of them are quite quirky, um, of course, because it comes from old reclaimed wood. So mine does not line up on the end, but that's just fine because it does give quite a nice big roof out front, which I like. Mm -hmm. So last piece is just to put the front on. Okay, so we are ready to put our last piece on. We're going to attach the front on here and I'll show you this way. We're going to put in the nails for the hinge and mine is really good and tight, which I don't mind at all. Some of them fit a little bit snug and that's fine. So you're going to take your, I believe these are two inch nails. Let's see what I bought. Doo -doo -doo. They keep holding it backwards. Two inch, okay? Two inch nail. And we're just gonna hammer that into the side. Now, once you have those screws in, you can, ooh, aha, there it is, okay? You can see now we've created a hinge. The last piece that's gonna go in is a screw in the top and you know what I didn't even pre-drill my own look at that um, it is very close to the top on the left side it's going to be one screw we're going to use it to secure the latch so and you don't even have to put this screw in all the way you can have it stick out so you could just put it in about half an inch just so long as it secures your front top and then anytime you want to open up your latch, your hinge, you just need to take the screw back out. For now it's nice and secure so it's not going to open up no pests, raccoons or anyone's going to get in there. But if you need to get in there to see uh, if it's dirty, to who knows, clean it out, check on it. Oh, my hammer falls. Simply take the screw back out. Okay. And then, whoop, there it is, nice and tight. And then our hinge works once again, and I can easily get in there. You are, once you put it up somewhere, most likely you're going to drill a couple holes in the back, so you'll have to open it up for that. All right, that about concludes our lesson today. Make sure always, always you put your tools back where that you found them. It's really the reason why people have toolboxes is a place to keep your tools so you know where to find it the next place, the next place, the next time you use it. So I'm going to latch this up and the next lesson is going to be on some finishing. So we'll talk again about finishing, um, filling in those screw holes if you want to hide those. And after that, we find somewhere to put it up. Okay, see you for the next lesson. Bye for now.